This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Tonight. And now Larry Bubbles Brown with your <laughs> with more depression. You know, with, with with your with your uh, a fact of the day. Go ahead. Fact of the day. Tell them what I you read, just told uh, me while we were ra- ready yes. to start this. Go ahead. Sixty percent of uh, lung cancer victims are non-smokers. So we can start smoking again? Yeah, I'll light up. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Uh, they probably just get crap in the air, genetic things. I don't know. You know, I bet. I bet you. I mean, I'm sure there were people that got cancer back in the in the day. But if in the old olden days, so the eight, mid 1800s, okay, uh, you're living out in the middle of Montana somewhere, uh, and uh, you don't smoke. I don't think they ever got lung cancer. I can't imagine it. What, what's going to attack? What's going to obs, uh, obstruct their their lungs? Yeah, you a lot know. of uh, Chinese women have a high incidence of uh, lung cancer, and it turns out it was uh, from working around the walks. The walks, really? Yeah. Get, yeah. How do, where do you get these facts from? I don't know where I find this shit. Do you, but, do you, is it like you go looking for this, or is it <laughs> yeah. that you just sit there and it, it, it wafts over you? I used to have a bunch of medical books I used to read all the time. That was part of the – I got rid of those because it was making me too hypochondric. But um, Yeah, yeah. You see things like that. And Boy, you Then do. we had this uh, big uh, – have you followed that trial out here, this woman that started this company? What was her name? Elizabeth – Holmes? Oh yeah, they did a they did a, a yeah. mini movie about them about her on uh, on Hulu that we watched. It was fascinating. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. I heard it was good, but uh, I thought that it was actually a, like a good idea because you can tell so much from a drop of blood in a person. But uh, I guess this. I think her intentions it looked like in the beginning were honorable. She wasn't out to. That's con, what I thought. Yeah. She wasn't out to con anybody. But what happened is between her and her boyfriend who was second in charge of running the company uh they started trying uh, they she came up with this idea one drop of blood you draw it and it will tell you everything you need to know all right yeah which would seem a little logical uh, whether you can do it or not is another question whether you can come up with the technology that can do it is another question but one drop of blood does contain a lot of information. And and that would be really good because people then wouldn't be fearful of going to the doctor and getting injections and any blood, you know, big big giant tube of blood drawn and sent off to a lab somewhere that they could yeah. just take this, put it in a machine at, uh, I would say, CVS, who became, I think, one of their backers. Was I, I think it was yeah, CVS. Uh, Walgreens, yeah. Yeah, Walgreens, somebody like that. And then they would just take it, and then they would say, oh, you know, you got a chance of cancer here, whatever. So she, she had she had the concept of the technology, and everybody then started buying stock in her company and so on and so forth. And as they tried to get going with this new piece of technology, guess what? It wasn't working. They couldn't get it to work. Um, and it, uh, and, and, and she kept, covering up stuff and covering up stuff because you know so one thing led to another and she she really was doing some pretty criminal stuff but she i don't think she realized how bad it was you know uh i'm not saying she was dumb or anything like that but you know uh so she she's been found guilty is it the trial's over i think she yeah i think she was found guilty uh I don't know how much time in prison she's going to get as a result of it or whatever. Her boyfriend, I know she was found guilty. Now her boyfriend's on trial. I don't know if it's still going on. People from California could call me after this interview and tell me, but that was quite a big trial. 
Yeah. He, you know. uh, she had all kind of... Uh, She's fairly attractive, and uh, she had all these older men, rich men, just pouring money into the company. Oh, you know who you had? You had, uh, well, who was it? Um, George Schultz. Uh, uh, George uh, Schultz, yeah. And it was his son who blew the whistle on her. Um, uh, no, his nephew who blew the whistle on her. And supposedly for the longest time after that, George Schultz wouldn't talk to him. Really? Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. But the nephew, he got the nephew a job at this company. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. And uh, uh, he went to work for her and saw immediately this thing was a big con job. And so he quit. And then he went to the feds and said, hey, this is a con job. And he became, I think he testified in her trial. He was a big deal. Uh, but George Schultz, big investor, big investor. And, and, and actually would go online or wherever you went or in promotions for the corporation and say what a great corporation it was, you know, and this is the future of medicine. And uh, George Schultz got taken for a lot of money and uh, a lot of credibility. So be that as it may. What what a story, you know. Wow, I got to see this. Sounds like a good movie. Yeah, it's on Hulu, but you'd have to have... Uh, Ooh. That was, that's right. You'd have to have the internet, uh, pretty much a fast, fast line. If you watch this on your uh, 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 internet, uh, it would take three years to watch it. Uh, <laughs> three years to buffer. <laughs> to buffer. Yeah, you you know, uh, last night I'm watching television and watching the news, and they say, uh, and now this story about the internet. And they put on the sound of the, the way you connect to the internet, where you the way you connect to the internet. Yeah, yeah. With that, mm, uh, uh, right? And is that a pretty good impression? I, yeah, it is good. You know, I'm, I'm the next Rich Little, only of electronics. <laughs> um, so um, um, I'm watching it, and and they're talking about it. So I'm going, is, are they doing away with dial up? Because you know, one day you're going to say, I guess I'm going to have to go with the other stuff. Because they're just going to say, dial-up's over with. You know, we're just not going to do this anymore. Um, and um, I thought dial-up was the thing that was going to be killed. But they said that Microsoft's Internet browser, which is called Explorer, they are stopping. They're ending. They're no longer going to have it. Now, I don't oh. know what you use to sign on. Oh, God, I hate to ask. Uh, Do yeah. you use a browser of some sort? Uh, well, whatever Net Zero uses, I don't know. Well, no, when you get on line, you sometimes you go to the Internet using your browser. In other words, you I go, uh, it's uh, the Google, what it's called. Uh, okay, but anyway, Google Chrome. Yeah. You use that's... Chrome. Oh, you're very advanced now. By the way, I didn't ask you this. Your computer. You have a computer at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind is it? It's a... Uh, you know, I don't even know. <laughs> is it, it broke a couple of years ago, and the guy up in the Richmond put a bunch of new parts in, so I don't even know anymore. How old is it? Well, it had Windows XP when I got it, so he <laughs> and he updated that, but I don't know what he updated it with. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking I've got well, I've got a couple of Mac Minis here that I no longer use. I could send you one of those, but then you also have to really it would be important for you to sign up to get, you know, high speed internet. Yeah. And this thing would suit you. And, and believe me, Apple's easier to use than Windows. Yeah, so. uh, my sister's got an Apple. I don't particularly like those, but uh, yeah. they look as complicated as the other ones to me. No, they're not. Uh, what, 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 what is your fear? I don't understand this. The big joke about you is that you just don't have any of this stuff. I think I might have a low IQ. I just can't learn no, to use it. No, no, you're one of the smartest people I know. Uh oh. You're a rain man for crying out loud. You, 
you are, you know, you, you've got uh, all these facts and things like that. You know a lot about a lot of things. You're not stupid. I think I've been, may, old age, I've lost it. I don't know. Is it a fear of technology? Well, I just, I just, a total misunderstanding of the whole concept. See, I, just, I mean, I understand, you know, I, there are times when I feel that I would love to be in, um, wait, where am I th- what am I thinking about? I would love to be in, in a cabin up in the woods. I'd love to be the uh, Unabomber. Off the grid. I'd love to be the Unabomber. Okay, he had the right idea. <laughs> Lived in the shack, you know, and I think, you know, he was also probably a uh, hoarder at the same time. And he lived in the shack and uh, away from everything, away from technology, away from the Internet, away from all of this. And uh, he's better off. You know, I mean, that was the right that was the right thing the Unabomber did. I heard if you read a lot of his work, it actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, his work <laughs> is some of his stuff is right on. He predicted a lot of the stuff that's going on now. You know, all the fear. He's, you know, he did not like a connected world. But he he certainly was a little violent in his approach to stopping it. Well, you know, I mean, his solution was wrong. You know, I mean, he wasn't going to stop it by blowing people up. Although you know that's they, although I have to say that's a start. You know, and you know why they called him the Unabomber? He only had one bomb. He attacked universities and airlines. Oh, okay. Well, then would he be the air bomber too? Uni air bomber. <laughs> yeah, he's still alive, isn't he? He's a, he yeah he's in prison for life, and uh, a lot of the stuff came around when we were on the radio here. I thought for some reason I thought he listened to your show, and I thought I thought he was going to try something for I just yeah yeah because we used to talk about him a lot. Remember on the air? And, yeah yeah, uh, I never heard from the Unabomber. Never, not once. Oh, really? Not okay. once. But, uh, you know, you're right. He probably might have listened to me. I'll tell you what happened here years ago in New York. I was still talking to Marjorie about this the other day. I get a call from somebody. I, I, I was very much a leftist. You know, I had leftist credibility. Uh, friends with Abby Hoffman, uh, Bob Rubin. I knew people like Dave Dellinger. I mean, I knew, the whole, I knew almost the whole Chicago 7, all right? So, I mean, I was considered one of these kind of people in the media that you don't trust the media, but you can trust this guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And I get a call one day from somebody and said, I can't say who I am. I said, he said, but I'm offering you the ability to interview Patty Hearst. This is when she was on the run. Really? Wow. And I said, well, where is she? He said, we can't tell you. If we take you to her to interview her, we're going to have to, like, blindfold you and things like that. But you can have an interview with Patty Hearst, and it'll cost you like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. And I thought about it, and I said, you know, well, I don't know if that's going to fly, because you never pay for interviews. You know, you never pay for that kind of thing. You never pay. Reporters will never pay a source for news. All right. But I said I'll ask my company. You know, and I went to them. I said, call me back in a couple of days. And I went to them, and they said, absolutely not. We will not pay $2,000 to Patty Hearst so that we can interview her. If she wants to do it for nothing, that's fine. You know, we'll pay for your gas. Uh, and I went back to him and told him no. Well, now, for years after that, I wondered whether the call was legit, whether she really – They said he said she was in New Jersey, okay? And uh, – I uh, I thought about it, and uh, I, years later, I was watching television. And they were doing a documentary on Patty Hearst and on her entire history when she was on the run from the law. And where do you think she was? In New Jersey. In New Jersey. Wow. I, was, I literally could have had an interview with Patty Hearst. That would have been so epic. Yeah, oh, yeah. But I, I couldn't pay for it, and I wasn't gonna, I could pay for it out of my own pocket, but I wouldn't do that either because I felt there was a journalistic uh, credibility here to be dealt with, you know? So I did, never did. Uh, I wonder who the guy was that called But him. I always wonder whether that was a phony call or whatever, somebody was putting me on, and then I find out she was in New Jersey. 
at that time. In fact, she lived there for about a year, I think, with some couple. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it would have been, yeah, would have been, at that time, if I'd gotten that interview, I would have, it would have been, I would have been a national star as a result of it, you know. Provided I asked the right questions. Yeah. That was 74, 75. Yeah, and the reason they, she, they wanted the money was because she needed money. You know, she was on the road. She couldn't call Daddy to send her some some cash. You know, um, so it wasn't that easy. But it was quite a it was quite a story. But um, you remember a lot of things about my show, man. Sometimes that I just never remembered. Well, yeah. that's a, I never heard the her story before. That's amazing. Well, yeah, that her story. I, I've told it a couple of times. A lot of people have heard it. Some people haven't. I don't know if I even included it in my audio biography in which I talked about my entire life. But uh, that was, um, you know, that that was just a moment I always wondered about, and then I had it uh, verified by this documentary that said, yeah, she was in New Jersey at that time. So, anyway. You should interview her now. That'd be great. Uh, I don't think you can interview her now. I haven't seen her interviewed anywhere. She may have been. Maybe on the anniversary of her kidnapping or something like that, but she—I don't think she likes to talk about it because I think that um, it was a point—a point at which—and I do believe she was brainwashed. Okay, that, that she was just a kid and she was fe- afraid and everything. They had her in a closet for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh, and and when they finally let her out, they said, "We're going to go rob a bank," and she went, "I'll do anything you want me to." You know, it's a Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. yeah, and and I don't think she wants to talk about that because I think personally she's ashamed of it, but also she was she'd kind of be I guess of the feeling of what else could I do? What would you do in that situation? You know. So. Yeah, who knows? It's uh, she. Uh, well, she was convicted and wasn't. She was pardoned by Carter. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, she kind of just. Yeah, you just kind of want wasn't to disappear she, after she was that, also she was hanging out in that house in L.A. wasn't she that got burned down by the police? But, she yeah. was no, she was. They thought she was in there with the S.L.A. No, they thought she no, she had been in there. She had been there, but she that's left. That's where they've been staying. Yeah, yeah, but she left because she, she fell. They she fell in love with one. She a good store that afternoon. Yeah, she fell in love with one of the guys there. Yeah, and he was he got burned up. And they went off to rob the sporting goods store. You're right. Mel Sporting Goods. Mel Sporting Goods. And I think she was in on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, but, I mean, uh, it, and then she somehow disappeared after that. They couldn't find her. I'm wondering she if... Got a, hmm? Yeah, she got away with Bill and Emily Harris, and then they were... I don't know how... They never could have done that today. They were going all over the country, how... They've been seen by so many people now. But. Well, I'm thinking, I was just thinking that same thought. If it happened today, could they have gotten away that easily? No way, no. You know, because you got cameras everywhere now. You didn't have that then. You know, I mean, people can't just disappear into the into the woodwork. In those yeah. days, you could. What that you do nice. is you, you move to New Jersey and nobody hears from you again. You know, so... Mm-hmm. That's a New Jersey joke, by the way. <laughs> Many if, you, people just... if you lived in New York, you would laugh your head off at that joke. Yeah. Well, there were tons of people. I'm sure men that got married and had a kid and realized, oh, my God, this is not what I want. And they frequently would just leave town and never be seen again. Now, you wouldn't be able to do that so easily now. You, you can't because you have to use what identity you have in order to get anything in this society. Uh, what you're gonna get a you want a getaway car? How are you gonna pay for it? Mm-hmm. Try to pay. Have you ever tried to pay cash lately? It's not easy sometimes. No, I mean I went down to the. Uh, uh, you get a dirty look. <laughs> went over to B and H and bought this new computer, which I'm using now, which is terrific. But I wanted to pay in cash, so I brought two thousand dollars in cash with me, and then was gonna pay the other uh, twenty five hundred dollars in cash with me. Because I'd been squirreling away this cash for a couple of years now, and I had like about five, six thousand dollars there. So I just said, "Do you take cash?" And they said, "Yes." 
of course, they're Hasidic Jews. They'll take cash anytime. <laughs> and and so I brought down the cash, and it was like how they were counting it out and holding it up to the light and everything, you know. <laughs> and yet they'll they'll assume that my credit is okay because I've got a card, you know. I mean, but try to spend cash. Try to get off. If you tomorrow tried to get off the grid, how would you do it? I mean, Good. no internet is a good start, Bubs. But yeah. How would you? How would you disappear? Could You'd you? You have to get rid. Of, you had got to get rid of the internet, the cell phone. Yeah, you got to. You can't, dis- words, you can't so, disappear. So nobody can st- trace you. How would you do it? I don't think you can do it anymore. You know. Maybe if you got a stolen identity. That's possible. You know, um, but I mean, it's. I think it's virtually impossible. I mean, if you were Patty Hearst, how are you going to get away these days? I don't. I don't think it'd be that easy. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. If you listen to Edward Snowden, you find out how uh, they really keep tabs on everyone. Yeah, you don't hear from Snowden much anymore. Yeah, yeah he was a hero, wasn't he? Uh, in my book, he was a hero. Most whistleblowers in my book are a hero because these people are saying, okay, there was something wrong there and I'm going to tell you what was going wrong. And they're whistleblowers and they're brave for being whistleblowers because they know that from that point on their life is never going to be the same. And um, and they're never, they always have these whistleblower laws and we never protect them for blowing the whistle. Well, I, I'm, yeah, I was wondering about whistleblowers. You know, how bad that really is. You know, uh, I mean, uh, how we don't protect them. And uh, they, we say we're going to protect them, but we really don't. We I never mean, do, Snowden no. never got protected. He oh, to, he has to live in Russia. He's living in Russia right now, where I bet you can't spend cash either because they don't have money o- over there. But, I mean, and, and nobody hears from him anymore because he's in Russia. You know, and the Russians said you can stay here, but you can't go around telling everybody the stuff you've been saying. You know, Julian Assange. Yeah, we don't want to get in trouble with the United States, right, Russia? You know, <laughs> boy, he picked the wrong place to go, right? It doesn't sound like fun, no. Yeah. Do you keep up with the news much? I try to. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's there's. The journalism these days is so bad, I don't know what to believe. I am so sick of it. You know, I really wish that it were good, but it isn't. No, it's horrible. You know, I mean, it's all advocacy journalism. You find very little objective journalism in which there is no opinion about the story. There is just the story being reported. Right. And Marjorie watches MSNBC all day long. And I'm going, are you watching that rot? And that's that's leftist, okay? But I say, mm-hmm. are you watching that rot? I mean, these people are lying to you just like Fox will lie to you. Yeah, they're no, like, there's no difference in Fox News. It's just a different team. Yeah, everybody wants to have the idea that uh, that these guys are, uh, are, are righteous and good because they're on the left. And they're just as non-objective as Fox is. And it's yeah. Pretty, you know, it's pretty terrible. It's pretty terrible. I but, guess if you pick a, pick a team, they uh, you'll get a certain amount of guaranteed audience. Have you ever, you know, because a comedian, when they write jokes, folks, they don't write them down, although I don't know if the pubs writes them down or doesn't. But uh, as you're working on material, sometimes a piece of material might creep in that is political. I mean, you have an observation just like you have here about things. And you've prevented yourself from using them in the act because that's not what your act is. No, I would never do anything political. But when you get a good, when you think of a good political joke, do you try to give it to somebody? I'll try to give it to Durst or somebody like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, Durst can't use it right now. Not now. But yeah. But do you, in your mind, come up with political jokes now and then? Very, very few. Actually. Yeah, because you just don't think in that, in those terms. Yeah, the only thing I had close was. Uh, when the war started in Ukraine, that uh, Russia, McDonald's was leaving, you know, 
Russia, taking all the stores out of Russia. And, uh, yeah, that's always good to threaten people with a lack of diabetes and heart disease. <laughs> That'll show them. <laughs> See, that's a good political joke. You should give it to somebody. Hard-hitting topical humor. The hard-hitting topical humor of Larry <laughs> Bubbles Brown. Well, we've come to the end of another one of our wonderful get-togethers here. and This, I, this was a little more upbeat than the last one. We're getting better. It, yeah, we're getting better. <laughs> And people won't slice their wrists over this episode. <laughs> anyway, Bubs, always a pleasure, and we'll see yes, you next we'll see time. you next week. Larry Bubbles Brown. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yeah. Okay, here we are, folks. This is Friday, and we have one person waiting to get on. Okay. Will that demonetize me if I do that? Yeah. Anyway, hi, how are you? How you all doing? Oh, man. I've been uh, you know, I've been going through another thing today with the, with the cable company. But finally... I found out what my problem was. For some reason, I don't know. They uh, they did away. I had a, I ha I signed up, and when I signed up, I signed up for what they called the ultimate package, and they said, well, the ultimate package doesn't exist any longer, and we have this new package, and now you can subscribe to that. And it was the same amount of money plus I get Disney bundle for a year for free. So, I don't know. I did it, you know. So that's the way I am. Oh, what is this now? Why is this? God, I'm so tired of this. Hold on a second, folks, because I want to fix this up. I, I don't want this looking like, see how here, here it, now there, that's fine, but it doesn't like that. Boy, it doesn't like that green. Hold on a second, folks. I'm going to go get another hat. I'll figure this one out over the weekend. Here we go. Ah, let me see here another hat there oh this one does the same thing too son of a bitch see that see oh uh, well hold on a second i'll just uh I'll, I'll do something with this hold on and now i've got to i've got to do some kind of um uh chroma key adjustment here so that that's not that there we go is that it is that uh, going to be it? Okay, all right. Close and... Ah, there, it's perfect. I don't know why that changes. Uh, yeah, I can go back to the other hat now. What the hell? Anyway, uh, hello. So anyway, so I, I got this whole deal going with uh, with the cable company. And uh, uh, it's, it's just... Uh, the reason I wasn't getting epics and... The other one anymore is because they weren't. I guess it just wasn't showing up that I had it in my in my in my program. So they they signed me up for this other thing, and uh, it should be taking place, uh, doing good in the next couple of days. What I get with it is I get a new router. Isn't that going to be fun? Just one more thing that I have to do. You know, there was a time when I could you send me a new router, I go bah, 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 and I do it. And now I go, oh, wait a minute, where do I plug this in? Where do I plug that in? As you get older, you really lose your ability at this sort of thing. And so I'm, I'm you know, and plus all my lights and everything are on, uh, on, like I go, Echo, turn off office, right? And then you see how the lights change? Echo, turn on office. Here we go. Okay, but they, they all know to go to a certain thing on my router and I guess if I get the new one the same name, it'll go to it and everything will be fine. There's no reason why it shouldn't, but I don't know. I'm just waiting for everything to screw up, and that's what I worry about is things screwing up. Uh, the reason I worry about them is, as they, as they say, Spalding Gray told me this, that the, he and I, the reason we worry about things like that is we're control freaks, and we want to just believe that everything that could possibly go wrong will. So, anyway. So tomorrow uh, the new uh, router is coming, and, uh, and then I have a month to send the other one back. Uh, and, and it should be, it should be fine. Uh, you know, I won't worry about it. What the hell? If, if everything screws up on me, folks, I just, I'll just stop doing this, okay? You know? Oh, uh, well. 
A anyway, so, uh, and I'm lightheaded again tonight, and, you know, I'm, we're, Marjorie's still feeling uh, tired all the time, and uh, today she was somewhat exhausted, and it's, uh, you know, it's coming down off the old COVID. What the hell? You know, we, we, we worked so hard not to get COVID. We sprayed our packages when they came, and we wore gloves outdoors for the first six months and masks over our face, and then we double masked because they said you should double mask. I mean, we did everything we could, and we completely avoided COVID. And then all of a sudden, we, I had to go to the hospital, and that was it. Goodbye. Mount Sinai. Petri dish. Anyway. Let me go to our people here uh, who are going to be part of our citizen panel. There's, uh, there's Jeff and there's Charlie coming in. And there's, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm retired and this is as dressed up as I get. I like that. <laughs> I like that. How you doing, Charlie? Doing pretty good. I got three weeks off. Hey. Oh, good. Well, I, well, I guess we get you for three weeks, right? Yep. Good, good. Uh, Brian, why are we just getting purple? I'm matching uh, Charlie's uh, shirt. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Uh, Let's see here. Let's see if we can clear that up. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing something that I don't know. There's some, it, it probably something in front of your lens. Yeah, no, no. I just I had to plug in my camera. So hold on. Oh, okay. uh, oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. There is. Bravo. What, what kind of camera? Oh, well, there it goes again. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, uh, I don't know, it's one from work. Uh, I don't know. It's one from work? You don't know what it yeah, is? It's work work uh, pays for all my home stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, but um, anyway, um, you know what? You know what? The last couple of days, whenever we see your face or your shirt, it looks like somebody spilled white paint all over you. But that's a reflection from the outdoors. You see that? Yeah, because the sun is still out. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, so. God, you're bright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty bright. Yeah, anyway. So it's uh, it's uh, Friday night. You should move here. Huh? He <laughs> should move here. should move here. I guess we might not have a lot of people tonight because a lot of people are probably waiting at the airport trying to get on an airplane they'll never get on. Or they're okay. waiting installed traffic to whatever destination they're going to, and uh, and you're going away on the fourth, aren't you, uh, Brian? We're, we're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow early morning and taking a Tesla, so we're we're not paying for gas and all that good stuff. So yeah. Now, when you got a Tesla, let me ask you this: uh, Do they do they actually let you use their electricity for free? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. And they have a <clears throat> going down to LA. We did it once before already. They have a couple big supercharger systems down there. So, and it's funny because it's almost the same spot that we usually stop on the way to LA, anyways. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. And this one is like 30 minutes for full charge. Yeah. So that's pretty that's good. Pretty good. Wow. We get out, walk around, we go to the place, we grab some food, snacks, and whatever. By the time we come back, we're ready to go. Yeah, well, what happens? Do all how many like how many chargers are there at this place? Jeez, there's about thirty or forty at this. Oh, point. okay. Because I was just wondering, you know, because if people, everybody's taking thirty minutes to fill up, right? Yeah, exactly the, what the, I thought too. I thought there was gonna be when we when we left San Jose, there was actually thirty seven. Ay ay ay! Oh, that's a big one. Hi, that's come a, in, come in, come on in, come on in. Say hello. Say that's hello. that's the disease oh. one. Oh, that's the diseased lady. Hey, we've we've stayed oh, away too. No oh, don't cough on me. <laughs> don't cough on me. And there's the uh, there's the uh -huh. the there's the dancing lady. Yeah. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Good. good, good, good. <laughs> so we we left San Jose and it said 37. So you know we see the map. You know we have the map and it shows the, the different ones. You know with the little red dot. And I said 37, 37. And when we left, I said, you know what? That let me just say something for a second. Enjoy that limberness while you have it. 
<laughs> okay, because when you get to be my age, you couldn't get it even off the floor. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. So, so there was thirty-seven. I said, "Oh, by you know, I'm just hoping that they still have a couple by the time we get down there." Mm -hmm. And yeah, there were still about thirty-five when we were down there because they go in and out so fast. So. Yeah. Yeah, I because I, I when I read about it, I've been reading a lot about these and, and online. I watch all the stuff on the, you know the electric cars and so on. And I, and I just wondered what happens, you know, when you when you oh boy, she's getting harder and harder to pick up, isn't she? And just toss her out there, toss her out there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? Weird? That's wonderful, isn't it? That's just wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I might think about getting an electric car. I've been getting... thinking about getting a kid, you know. <laughs> and she's so mad right now. <laughs> she, wants, she wants to come over here and, 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 and draw and do all this stuff. And I said, no, 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 no. Well, if she can be quiet, it would be yeah. nice if she wanted to sit over there and draw. Whenever she hears a, a song and it has a swear word, she's all like this every single time. So she would be doing that behind me all night. So. Do you remember when songs didn't have swear words? Oh yeah. Yep. When I was growing up, you didn't hear that kind. That kind. Of, you didn't do do that. You know, that wasn't good. They had to have a clean version for the radio. They had to have a clean version for the radio. Well, I guess this is going to be it for tonight. I had, I imagine. I mean, usually we have uh, Josh calls in, and uh, we have uh, yeah, uh, Kevin, and uh, but uh, it looks like I think this is going to be it for tonight. Holiday weekend. Yeah, holiday weekend. Oh well, I'm thinking I'm going to do my Monday show on Monday just for the hell of it. I'll be here. Yeah, you know, Ooh. you know, I Ooh. mean, what else Ooh, do live? I? What else do I have to do? How about live from Disneyland? <laughs> Nobody's called from Disneyland, right? No. No, now are you going to Disneyland? Yeah, we go California Adventure on Sunday and then Monday is Disneyland. Oh, I see. Okay. And they still have, you have to have reservations. So they have limited uh, sizes, you know, in there. I know there's still lines like crazy, but um, I have, I went online and read all the, you know, all the YouTube hacks, all the Disneyland hacks. So I'm, we're, we're prepared. Yeah, so, uh, so we, we did we did California Adventure, which is right next to Disneyland. Yeah, we did that on Fourth of July, uh, like before COVID, mm -hmm. and it wasn't actually it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that packed, and then everybody goes and uh, right in between Disneyland and California Adventure, and we watched the fireworks from there. So it was pretty cool. Oh wow, that's nice. Well, the California Adventure is is that Disney too? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, but it's not in the same park. Correct. Okay. But they have, I like the rides better over there. They have a couple, yeah, they have some cool rides over there. They have not, is Knott's Berry Farm still around? Yes. But I don't think for too much longer. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah, I don't know. I think I, saw, I read something they were talking about Knott's Berry Farm. I know Great America's closing. Well, they'll be closing. They sold their land. So that's, you know, that's hard to Silicon Valley right there. So that's going to go that they're going to do something with housing or something there. Yeah. So why do you think those ones are closing down? Did COVID, were they victims of COVID or what? I don't know. I don't know. I saw something really quick on it, but not very far. But um, the Great America one, they sold their the property. So they say at least they'll have maybe 11 more years. But um I grew up with my uh, summers. I went to my grandfather's house. My grandfather lived down the street from Great America, so we used to ride bikes down the gravel road. And all of a sudden, they were building, and we sell the carousel. So it's pretty cool. But they're they're gonna close that one. Yeah, you remember what was it? Um, uh, uh, Africa, USA. Oh, oh. Um, Marine World. Marine, Marine World, World, Africa, USA. Yeah, and that's Oracle now, and they moved that up to uh, Vallejo from Redwood Shores. Is it? Yeah. Is it still? It's still doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they they did away with being the Africa USA because they decided they didn't think uh, it was it was de classe to have animals pinned up, you know. And yeah. and so they uh, they did away with that part of it. I yeah. guess I guess having a bunch of fish and stuff in tanks is okay, isn't it? I guess. I don't know. 
What do you, wait, wait a minute, Charlie's our, our authority on all things politically correct. <laughs> Come on. What yeah, do you, I agree with the having animals locked up in cages, but... No, I I, I, but, but, but what about whales and orcas and things like oh, that? I don't like orcas and SeaWorld and all that stuff, no. No. Yeah. But how about guppies? <laughs> guppies, go for so, it. So where do you draw the line, Charlie? What side? <laughs> so why don't we open up a new place called Guppy World? <laughs> Guppy World USA. Yeah. No, dolphins and, and killer whales, they're just too sentient. They're too intelligent. Both the human. Well, I think I think maybe that's just a rumor that the dolphins are passing around, so nobody will touch them. <laughs> that they really, you know. There is an old story that I heard, and and this is I I have no reason to believe it isn't true. That during World War II, uh, a bunch of uh, air, air airplane guys, airplane guys, flyers, mm -hmm. were downed in the Pacific. And they were out there in a life raft, and a dolph, a couple of dolphins came along, and they said because they are so so protective of humans, they really are. They nudged this raft towards an island, where they didn't want to go because it was a Japanese-held island. <laughs> and, and when they got there, of course. They were taken into custody the war, thanks yeah. to the wonderful dolphins. So when you say the dolphins are wonderful, think about that story, okay? That's right. You know. Uh, yeah, better they should just stay out there and starve to death. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. They're going to die either way. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I guess, I guess this is going to be all we're going to have tonight. I, I, I thought there would be more, you know. I mean, I wouldn't think that my audience was stupid enough to go on an airplane <laughs> this weekend. Especially uh, all the cancellations, right? They have so yeah, many You never know if you can get back. Well, my, I Marjorie and I were sitting here watching the news tonight. And they were doing anything about all these cancellations and everybody's waiting in line for three days, you know, at the airport and, and, and this and that. And Marjorie's looking at it and going, didn't they know? You know, didn't they have a clue? that this was going to happen and the prices are i was looking about a month or two ago to go to new york for mm -hmm. fourth of july we we're going to go to new york mm -hmm. and yeah it was like twelve hundred dollars per person for that and hotel. i mean the the prices were just like double wow. of everything it's crazy well you know i mean i marjorie and i would like to get away and go somewhere we'd love to go to europe you know i've got enough frequent flyer miles that we should mm -hmm. be able to take care of it but I mean, then you get over there and they, and they have you wear masks and it's just not fun, you know? You don't have the flexibility to go here and there and to, you know, do the kind of trip you'd like to take. So I'm, we're, we're stuck here in New York. I know to some people, wow, what a wonderful place to be stuck. Not really, you know? I mean, I, I, this, this town really climbs in on you. And I don't go out. I don't go outdoors that much anymore. Why? What's out there? Nothing. Just other New Yorkers. What a scuzzy <laughs> crowd that is, you know. So, uh, I I wish I lived in Connecticut, like uh, our good friend <laughs> Jeff. We'll yeah. let you move in. <laughs> well, no, I mean, uh, up there, it's nice up there. You know, I would love to live in the country. You yeah. know, there's no reason why we can't do that. Um, you know, but uh, we, uh, I would, I don't know how well we, what we would get up in the country and how much it would cost, you know? And then we'd have to get a car. We don't have a car, so we'd have to buy a car. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, I just, I, it, it, it doesn't seem, and here we've got this situation here where, at least for the time being, paying $500 a month rent, you know? Yeah. And you can't. You're not going to give that in your con in uh, Connecticut. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to no. give. The, I'm not, we're not going to give this up too terribly no. soon, you know. I mean, I could yeah. I could afford that rent every month and not even be here, you know. That's right. So, uh, but we haven't paid a penny of that rent because every time we send them a check, they don't cash them. 
Wow. Oh, we got problems with the landlord is not pl not playing by the judge's rules. Okay, uh, and uh, I don't care if they're going to maybe appeal it. Uh, although they they have just a few weeks to appeal it, in. Uh, but I don't care if they're going to appeal it. I'm sorry, cash my goddamn checks. The judge said the rent is five hundred dollars a month. I'm sending you the checks. It's already one of our checks got sent back because it was taking too long not being cashed. Oh, yeah, there's only a certain amount of time before yeah, three, the bank got rejected. Three months, three months, yeah. yeah. And we've sent a check every month. This gone, a check has gone out every single month. So we've been very good about this. Uh, but, you know, they, 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 they're they not accepting it. What? You know, accept it. We've told you that if the, you go and you appeal it and they say that it's $2,000 a month, we have to pay the difference between the 500 and that. What do you, what, what's your problem? You know? So, I don't know. What do you do when that $500 comes back because it's after 90 days? goes back into my account. <laughs> it, it, we do it by uh, some kind of, I might, my, my accountant does it by some kind of accountant magic in which he has the bank every 30 days send them a check for $500 or not a check, right. but whatever it is. And then some kind of funds transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of fund yeah. transfer. And that's uh, how my rent goes. Yeah. And they have to, they have to do something about it, you know, and they don't. I'm, so, what the hell, you know? It's very strange, yeah. uh, but uh, we're going into our what is this our tenth year? <laughs> Something with this. That's amazing, thing. Alex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I, I would have thought I thought when it first started, ah, I'd be over in two years. You know, I'll get that. I'll give it two years. No, I think I think we're in our we're getting to be in our tenth year of this whole deal. You know, some of it's getting better. Huh? Some of the people who come all the time had never been here until about a year or three years ago. What was this? What do you mean? A lot of them have not been there for 10 years. What do you mean? In this apartment house? Right. No, oh. in the group. In the group here. Oh, in the group here. Oh, yeah. No. I mean, we're maybe it's not 10 years. Maybe it's nine years. It could be nine years. Yeah. Well, Either way, it's an amazingly long amount of time. And you're right. I have people here how many of you were calling me uh, 10 years ago, eight, eight, nine years ago? I know my milestone. When I started listening, when I found you, mm -hmm. Charlie was in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> that was only four Charlie years was, ago. Yeah, Charlie was in Arizona, and he just called one time, yeah. and he would explain the story about, yeah, that he moved there, blah, 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 blah. So that, that's like the very first things I remember when I was calling. So that's, that's my mile. How long ago was that, Charlie? That was four years ago, 2018. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. so that's that's when I found you guys and started listening. Yeah. And you guys were only doing the the video on Fridays, right? Yeah, yeah. Then. What, what is this? This is like uh, all of a sudden this page is all frozen up. I don't get it. Oh boy. Uh, so I you're mean, getting a new router. That's gonna. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you know there's gonna be glitches. You gotta have to. <laughs> Boy, yeah, at least we have till Monday. <laughs> my entire page is frozen here. Let me see here. Hold on a second, folks. I can't do anything. It won't move. All the all the pages here are like frozen, and they shouldn't be, hmm. um, because uh, they're they're frozen. Oh well, at least the show is going out, isn't it? Yeah, YouTube is moving. Okay, yep. well, that, that's fine, you know. But I mean, I just can't, I can't figure out what what happened here, uh, <laughs> because it should none of these uh, none of none of the stuff on my desktop is moving. Nothing. Hmm. Wow, wow. Must be the router. Hmm? Knows he's leaving. No, the router knows he's leaving. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and they know the router knows it's its last day. So maybe I'll call this uh, short tonight because uh, we don't have a lot of people and I'm all frozen here and I, I don't get it, you know, so. Uh, I can hear you. Yeah, I mean, I may I may close this thing down, come back up and just go back on for the hell of it, you know, nice. but uh, 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 I want to thank you all for calling. 
and um, I, I don't even know if I can change uh, it to my uh, graphic. Can I change to my graphic? Oh, I can change, change to my graphic. Okay, it will do that. And will it do that if I do this? No, it won't if I push on it. Well, see, there we go. Uh, and I have no idea how to end this whole thing. Uh, it's, uh, well, wait a minute, huh? huh? It's really strange. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the whole thing is frozen up, you know. So anyway, uh, goodbye, guys. Okay. Huh? I'll see Bye. you later. Bye. <laughs> oh boy, I can't even sign myself off. Mm. I can't stop it. Nothing. Are you gonna try and come back up, or we nothing's just, uh... working? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't. Uh, Stop recording. No, that won't stop recording. It's somewhere. It's frozen. The whole page ah. is frozen. I can't even sign off. I probably have to kill the machine in order to start it up again. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I'm just going to shut down the machine and start it up again. Anyway, if I come back on, check me in about 10 minutes, see if I'm on. You know, oh, no. that'll be a good way to handle this thing. But I don't know why this is frozen. It's just mm. amazing to me. Bye-bye. See you later. Right. Ten minutes. Let me see here. Can I push shut down here? No, I can't. Oh, well, there I go. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, stop that. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, pump pump. No, that's not it. Okay, Zoom meeting. There we go. Okay. All righty. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm having fun here, you know. <laughs> Everything just went, Back went south on me. Oh, well, there we go. And there's... We're uh, going. Yeah, and we she's working. Now. Is she working on her iPad there, or what's she working on? Yeah, she got her iPad. She's building houses in Minecraft. In, in what? Water what? Water big, 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 big house. What was our agreement? Okay. Well, I did ask a question. I know. You know. So, <laughs> so when are you going to get that tooth taken care of? I got to go in uh, June 13th. June 13th. Then they, I think they're putting the. <laughs> oh my God. What? I always have bad luck with teeth. So. Yeah, I don't know why they don't. I, I, you know, I have no idea why they don't just come up with something for you to be able to have a temporary tooth in there. Yeah. You know, because after all, you do have to live in this society, and <laughs> and, and you know what you used to have, what they used to have, for me, when they when I lost a tooth, and they you know they pulled it and they were gonna put in a one of these things you know one of these but they you know it takes it takes three months for yeah. the tooth the place to heal where they pulled it yeah and then it takes another three months after they put in the screw yep yeah. okay yeah in the meantime you don't have a tooth there so right. they had a thing called a i'm trying to remember what it was called now it's a clipper you said clipper something. clipper yeah and the clipper was just this tooth you <clears throat> You know, you put in there like it was seven hundred bucks, but at least you didn't go around looking like you were voting for Trump. You know, and no, but it, it was great when we were arguing because Tiffany was arguing, saying something about something, and I'd just smile at her with the tooth out, and then that would usually get a smile out of her. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't, I don't understand. You know why they don't do that? Why it? They seem to think it's. Uh, it's it's good for you to and now my picture's making noise oh, uh you're only on you There's oh you're only on me okay let me yeah. let me do this okay. that was good then there. nobody saw my missing tooth there See, we go. Oh, oh, okay don't don't smile okay <laughs> all right so nobody sees you adrian yeah nobody yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, it, it 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 is uh it's a um, you know uh, they should do something about it you have to live in this society and uh, you have to go to work every day and you know yeah and they were gonna they were gonna 
they took it out just before Sweden. So I had to do Sweden with presentations, like in front of a big crowd and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then we just went somewhere. And then now this trip. So it's like the thing's hanging on by dear life right now. <laughs> it's like, and I don't want to lose it. Because I always take it out when I'm at home so it heals good. And then oh, you take, oh, wait a minute. Do you have a clipper? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. What What is it? Oh, it's, that, yeah, that's clipper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they did give you a clipper. Yeah, so I pop it in, and then if I'm eating, if I know I'm going to go somewhere to eat, then I'll put the fix it in on it, and then it stays in there pretty good. But uh, I like I, taking I, it out. I found, because I, can I, found it I found the thing was so good, you know, that I just, in the morning, I clip it in, all of a sudden, my, 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 my it hasn't done this in the longest time. Mm. This this glittering glitching of the picture, uh, but mm. anyway, I don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, no, but what I, what happened was I would put the thing in, and it I became so natural to me, yeah. That at night I'd have to remember to take it out when I went to sleep. Yeah, you know. I'm the opposite. I have to remember to put it in because I go to I go to Lodi and Lodi still requires masks. We have to still test and masks. So so when I get Lodi, I'll bring it in my car, but then I never put it in. I, I get up in the morning. I don't have it when I sleep. So I get up. I don't wear it all day. Mm -hmm. I come home. But then sometimes I would go to pick her up at school and I get out of the car and, and get up to the front. And, and then all of a sudden I remember I forgot to put it in. So I don't talk to any of the parents. I just take her and then walk out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she's being very quiet back there. Yeah. yeah. Hi. She's waving though. Yeah, she wants attention. Hey, hey who doesn't? You know. It, it's it's. Uh, it, do you remember the days when you wanted attention? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Some, well, somebody told me about. You know, we did. We were talking about this last night about having kids. Somebody told me the, the thing about having a kid is it's the first first day you have a kid, you suddenly realize it's somebody more important than you are. Yeah, you can rank things when you're single and yeah. sort of say this is important, this is important, and you're sort of weighing things. Well, if this and this, but right when that thing comes out, yeah, it's just like instant. We were just watching videos today because I was going through my laptop a little bit mm -hmm. <clears throat> and showing pictures of her like 15 seconds mm -hmm. old, you know, and crying at that at that age you know so mm. it, it, it's it's so it's so weird how modern technology you know you can you know you can film that kind of stuff and, and the pictures and stuff like that so it's really really weird yeah by the way this uh, this will be probably up on uh, YouTube as a broadcast but mm. it won't be up on YouTube uh, as just the program itself so you know it's it's very very strange what's happening here. In case people don't know, all of a sudden, everything, all my, you know, when you take a, you can move a frame like a picture, you know, uh, and you can move it around and so on and so forth on the screen. All of a sudden, everything was frozen, and everything was frozen. Uh, uh, it was just very strange. Yeah. But it's the first problem I've had with this new <clears throat> machine. You know, so I'm 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 happy that it's that good, but I don't know what the glitchiness is now. I didn't give up. You know. So does anybody think about uh, what's happening with Cheney? With, with Liz Cheney? Yeah. What's happening with her? They're trying to fire her. What do you mean they're, they're trying, trying to get her? rid of her? Well, why? why In uh, where's she live in Wyoming? Yeah. Yeah, she, she's way behind in the primary. In the polls for the primary. Yeah. Well, you know something? I I think she can live with herself. You know? I mean, uh, I'm sure being in the Senate is important to her. And politically, I don't agree with most of the stands she takes. You know, she's not exactly on our side. Well, she was cheering the reversal of Roe v. Wade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's not exactly the kind of person I want to see in office. On the other hand, uh, I, I think she was very brave to do what she did. And I think that she should be rewarded for that by her constituency. But then again, it's mm -hmm. Wyoming, you know. So anyway, my, my camera's now glitching. Oh, God. I hate this. Always something. It's always something. 
You know, I'm always putting out fires, and I can hardly wait to get this router tomorrow. <laughs> we may not, we may not see you for a while. <laughs> yeah, no, but I haven't. This thing hasn't glitched in a long time, and I it's so long now. I can't remember how I stopped the glitching. Mm. You know, so who knows? Yeah. See, they're glitched again. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Let me see. Well. I don't know what happens if I if I turn off my uh, my my camera. Let's see if it glitches at all. Like, the camera you can't see. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, there she is. Wait a minute. What is she oh, trying God. to show you? Come on, she can be part of the show. What oh, what's she shooting? What's she shooting? My, we have the sunset. Yeah, so across the street are the soccer fields for the back of the junior high. Mm -hmm. So you. Nothing's obstructing our view of like the sunset coming down, so it, it's it's a that's why I won't leave this house. <laughs> like I'm gonna be old man in the rocking chair downstairs, uh, just watching the sunset every night. So well, the sunset's very nice. It sunsets great here too. Oh yeah, and this and then you have Santa Cruz Mountains right here coming and starting to come up. So sometimes you have just the whole sky as clouds. And it, I, so. I have at least a hundred pictures. Okay. Of my uh, of, of of sunsets on mm -hmm. my iPhone, mm, yeah. uh, maybe more, maybe two hundred. I don't know. <laughs> I I start erasing a lot of them because they're taking up too much space, and I I gotten to the point where I go, well, it's a beautiful sunset, but I'm not taking another picture of another sunset. You have no obstructions there. You're pretty high. Yeah, but we're getting obstructions. You know, oh, I mean, really? uh, the, there's one building that's gone up that's. Obs obstructed our view a slight bit uh, but um, you know I mean it was uh, somebody who decided to build a rather tall building down the way but it doesn't it doesn't get over the skyline of the park yet yes uh, Adrian do you have something you want to say <laughs> she does <laughs> No. Yeah, and oh, that's okay. I, I, every every time we come into San Francisco, I, I remember what you talk about about they had limitations on the height of the the buildings there, mm -hmm. and yeah, when you go there now, it's you know it's really really. Um, I don't know when that happened. I don't know exactly when that happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I I really don't know, because when I was growing up in the Bay Area. Uh, the tallest building, I think, was uh, down on Montgomery Street, you know, and it was maybe 20 stories high, and you couldn't build a building taller than 20 stories. And now, you've got what? You got What's that building that's still tilting? They can't stop it from tilting? Yeah, yeah the Millennium or something. The, yeah. the Leaning Tower of San Francisco. Yeah, the sales <laughs> force is huge, and yeah. I mean, uh, the Transamerica used to be the biggest one there. I remember, it was sort of iconic, you know, has the shape and stuff. And now, now everything's just going crazy there. Yeah, and I remember when everybody thought the Transamerica building was an ugly building, mm -hmm. and now they they kind of are glad there is a Transamerica building. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, but we what's happened also is they started creating what I call these pencil buildings here. Yeah. They're, mm -hmm. They they look like pencils. Oh. I think they should build one with an eraser on the top. <laughs> <laughs> but the the one good thing is, you know, you have since you've been gone, you, you have the new the San Francisco Giants ballpark, and that one's like ten years old, I guess now. But but that and then also the which was over in China Basin, and mm -hmm. that place was just abandoned buildings, right? That whole place is all re revised now, re and then they have the the place where Chase Center is for the Warriors in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And that whole area now has a big hospital there and all that area off Mariposa Street, mm -hmm. uh, Mariposa Avenue, all that area is all redone now with housing and, and really beautiful now. So the good thing about these big ballparks is they're, they're really taking some of these areas that were really just run down and, and abandoned. They've been really revising and really nice. Do you know what building has been there? I think, oh, wait a minute, I gotta do this. Oh, there we go. Um, uh, <laughs> or that falls down. <laughs> no, it didn't fall down, and now I just glitched again. I, I, I don't understand this it's glitching bullshit. Uh, it could be because I started one thing up before I started another, and usually I start the other one up before the other one. You know. 
I, uh, anyway, you know, what I was going to say is when I was growing up, a very significant building in San Francisco was the San Francisco Furniture Mart. Now, when did I grow up? In the 1940s. Okay, and I think the Furniture Mart was there. I don't know how old it is. Uh, I could look it up here probably and find mm -hmm. out. Uh, but I, 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 I've never been able to figure out. Uh, uh, but it's the San Francisco Furniture Mart is still there. And it used to be where Live 105 was. Mm -hmm. It was a very horrible studio with rats nesting. And, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was a scary uh, place to work for a while. <clears throat> and uh, it was in the, uh, 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 what do you call it, the Furniture Mart. Which was a big place that they had one, one furniture company on top of another. They were they really sell sold you know wholesale mm -hmm. furniture, not to you and me, but to stores. And uh, today it's Twitter. And and they ever te tore down that building, and that building is old enough to get torn down. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And Moscone Center is huge now. Remember that that was like one big city block. Now it's been two, and now they're starting to go up, and it's huge. What is it? What is? What is she whispering? <laughs> what is she? What is she whispering? What is okay, it? Yeah, whatever. Come on, don't let us let us know too. <laughs> I think she wants to move over here. She wants to move over where? Over there. Okay. All right. And we've been sleeping together since. Uh, that's the the COVID lady is. No, let's uh, let's 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 rephrase that. Yeah, <laughs> let's like, rephrase. What? we've been Internet bunking. I, we've been bunking in the same room. Okay, whatever bunking in the same room. Yeah, since uh, since uh, the, the the COVID lady who you saw earlier this year. It, now how's it? We, we, we've done really good though because, like I said, we you know she got it. She tested positive on on Monday and then. Uh, yeah, I see on Monday and because of certain things we have we hadn't slept together on those last couple of days and she knows her her uh, brother in law got it, then gave it to her sister mm -hmm. and then she went over and saw her sister over the weekend mm -hmm. and that's sort of what caused everything. But uh yeah, so it's it's an interesting experiment because she's had it and um and she did a PCR test also. The company made her do a PCR test, so she did and we've tested, and we've, we're still fine. We're staying away from each other, but we're still fine. So yeah, good. but did she do a test, uh, another test, one of just the ones you do at home? Yeah, yeah, that's how we found out. And then the company made her do PCR, like, on Wednesday. Okay. And so she did that, and she was positive. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, uh, yeah, she tested again this morning. We're just seeing if she's going to, you know, how she's doing. So it still has it in her system, but now she had a big cough. And a sore throat, and she's been doing the thermal flu, the the daytime and nighttime, and she's mm -hmm. been doing good the last twenty four hours. So, oh, okay. so it, it's interesting because, like you said, Alex, it's you know Marjorie got it, but you guys are so close that you know then you got it pretty quick. We were just happening. I, I to be found like, that I found I found there was a there was a day delay or two day delay with mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? and that's why I'm thinking she got it and gave it to me. Yeah, and she yeah. got it from being in that waiting room at the hospital. Yeah, because yeah, if I, you look at the timeline, it kind of fits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, definitely. I I can't see that she got it anywhere else. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, but we we did that. Uh, you know, the uh, pa Pac the Jerry Lewis drug, uh, Paxlovid. <laughs> Paxlovid. Uh, we did that. And um, it uh, it knocked it out immediately. From, I know from people who have it, okay, who maybe didn't even have uh, uh, the vaccinations. Mm. Paxlovid knocks it out in a day. Wow. The next day you can take a test and it's gone, you know. Oh. So it, we did it because I'm 82, mm. okay, and she's mm. 78. And uh, it, that's really old, isn't it, Adrian? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, but I mean that, that you know. So we did that, but probably no reason. How old is uh, your wife? Seventeen years younger than you are. Yeah, so she's, she's thirty-seven. She's thirty-seven. 37. Uh, no need to do the pack slogan. Yeah, and I know you said that it's sort of at the very beginning when you took it, it's sort of you know mess around with you a little bit. So that's what I was concerned about, you know that. So well, I never got any real heavy symptoms, but mm -hmm. I did have a few, you know. Mm -hmm. And it, they were slight, but they weren't heavy. But I didn't want to wait for them to get heavy. Plus, you have only five days right. before you can't take it anymore. So right. I wanted to get her the Paxlovid, and as long as she was going to take it, I was going to take it. And that morning when I was supposed to see the doctor and I talked to him, I took the test, and I showed up positive. So I said, come on, give us all the full dose of it, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was good, though. Yeah. It's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to. We're all going uh, you don't to have... Cape Cod. You're going to Cape Cod? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? You're gonna, yeah, for a week. You're going to drive, right? We're going to drive. Yeah. Well, well, we'll drive a little bit, and then we'll stop, and we'll keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Because it's going to be so many cars and trucks. Wow. Well, not, 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 take you you well. have family you stay with up there, right? Uh some of them are in Connecticut. Some of them live in Massachusetts. And uh, so, in other words, where are you staying in Cape Cod? Uh, we rented a place. Oh, huh? okay. Yeah. So, that's nice. Yeah, nice place. So. Yeah. Now, if you can only get to it, you know. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It. I. I hear it's just going to be hell out there, and I. I just yeah. think that you know, if you're going to. Do a vacation, do it a couple of weeks from now, but you know. I know. But you're staying there for a week, and that that should be okay, you know. Well, everybody's been inspected and retested, and uh, as how, of, uh, how far is that, today. Jeff? How far is that from Connecticut, from where you are? Um, let's see. Yeah, it must be uh, um, about. I would say it could be. Six hours oh, okay. six normally. Hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. From Connecticut to Cape Cod? Yeah. Huh. It's Cape Cod is pretty much the end. Right. Because oh, you can't okay. drive there direct. The Cape kind of has a big hook on the end of it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And what are you doing? Nothing, right, Charlie? No, I'm going to sit here and watch TV. <laughs> sit here and watch okay. the TV? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I just, you know, I just saw that the gentleman, the gentleman. <clears throat> oh, the movie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the movie, the movie, The Gentleman is on Netflix. I don't know if that came out before or if it's I'm new. I'm trying to remember if I saw it or not. That, oh yeah, the gentleman. That, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, that 2020 on that, and then I just it, saw. It, it, it's the third film in a series, right? That from yeah, Snatch and all those or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but it I was done so. earlier than it takes mm -hmm. place earlier than the rest of them did. Yeah. And yeah. it was mm -hmm. very good, you know. But yeah. Anyway. Whoa! 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 Hey, there. Okay, there's the theme. Uh, this will allow Jack to have some show to follow him. Sorry, folks, that we had to, like, stop the show in the middle of the show, but nothing was working. There's 13 people watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. right now. Everyone gave up no, the first time. No, there are about 20 people watching now. So right, really? now 19. They hear the theme playing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, listen, everybody, have a nice Fourth of July weekend. Uh, yeah. uh, to Jeff, drive carefully. Brian, mm -hmm. drive carefully because you have precious cargo there. Yeah. Okay, and be sure to take along some uh, some uh, Xanax for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop it up. Knock her out the whole way. <laughs> oh, she's cruising for a bruising. Anyway, uh, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in my microphone right now. Thank you. Charlie, thank you so much for being with us. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I think my camera will work. Oh, wait a minute. i got to turn my camera. Oh, we hope to see you Monday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Bye bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. bye. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel uh, for tonight. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out why I was glitching, but I'm not glitching now. So uh, I'm, that's that's fine. Okay. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Never go. It's never easy. It's never easy. But anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. Jack Bishop is next over most of this gabnet. Stay right where you are and for him and give him a call. I will see you again. Uh, let's see, Monday we're going to do a show on the uh, at 4 o'clock yeah, on uh, Facebook, the pop-up show. And then we'll see, of course, on Wednesday again. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.